On a differentiable manifold, the exterior derivative extends the concept of the differential of a function to differential forms of higher degree. The exterior derivative was first described in its current form by Elie Carton. It allows for a natural, metric-independent generalization of Stokes' theorem, Gauss's theorem, and Green's theorem from vector calculus. If a k-form is thought of as measuring the flux through an infinitesimal k-parallelepiped, then its exterior derivative can be thought of as measuring the net flux through the boundary of a parallelepiped. Definition The exterior derivative of a differential form of degree k is a differential form of degree k plus 1. If f is a smooth function, then the exterior derivative of f is the differential of f, that is, df is the unique one form such that for every smooth vector field x, df equals dxf, where dxf is the directional derivative of f in the direction of x. There are a variety of equivalent definitions of the exterior derivative of a general k-form. In terms of axioms the exterior derivative is defined to be the unique R-linear mapping from k-forms to forms satisfying the following properties. df is the differential of f for smooth functions f. d equals 0 for any smooth function f. D equals D alpha beta plus P where alpha is a P form. That is to say, D is an antiderivation of degree 1 on the exterior algebra of differential forms. The second defining property holds in more generality. In fact, D equals 0 for any K form alpha. More succinctly, D2 equals 0. The third defining property implies as a special case that if f is a function and alpha a k form, then d equals d equals df alpha plus f d alpha because functions are zero forms, and scalar multiplication and the exterior product are equivalent when one of the arguments is a scalar. In terms of local coordinates alternatively, one can work entirely in a local coordinate system. The coordinate differentials dx1, dxn form a basis of the space of one forms, each associated with a coordinate. Given a multi-index i equals with 1 ipn for 1 pk, the exterior derivative of a k form over rn is defined as the definition of the exterior derivative is extended linearly to a general k form where each of the components of the multi-index i run over all the values in 1. N. Note that whenever i equals one of the components of the multi-index i then dx i dx i equals zero. The definition of the exterior derivative in local coordinates follows from the preceding definition in terms of axioms. Indeed, with the k-form phi as defined above, here, we have interpreted g as a zero form, and then applied the properties of the exterior derivative. This result extends directly to the general k-form omega as in terms of invariant formula alternatively. An explicit formula can be given for the exterior derivative of a k-form omega when paired with k plus 1 arbitrary smooth vector fields v0, v1, vk, where v, vj denotes the Lie bracket and a hat denotes the omission of that element. In particular, for one forms we have d omega equals x minus y minus omega, where x and y are vector fields. X is the scalar field defined by the vector field X gamma applied as a differential operator to the scalar field defined by applying omega gamma as a covector field to the vector field Y gamma and likewise for Y. Note. Some authors use the different invariant formula, Stokes' theorem on manifolds. If M is a compact smooth orientable n-dimensional manifold with boundary, and omega is in form on M, then the generalized form of Stokes' theorem states that, intuitively, if one thinks of M as being divided into infinitesimal regions, and one adds the flux through the boundaries of all the regions, the interior boundaries all cancel out, leaving the total flux through the boundary of M. Examples Example 1. Consider sigma equals u dx1 dx2 over a one-form basis dx1 dxn. The exterior derivative is. The last formula follows easily from the properties of the wedge product. 
namely dxi dxi equals 0. Example 2. Let sigma equals u dx plus v dy be a one form defined over R2. By applying the above formula to each term we have the following sum. Further properties. Closed and exact forms AK form omega is called closed if d omega equals 0. Closed forms are the kernel of d. Omega is called exact if omega equals d alpha for some form alpha, exact forms or the image of d. Because d2 equals 0, every exact form is closed. The Poincaré lemma states that in a contractible region, the converse is true. RHAM cohomology because the exterior derivative d has the property that d2 equals 0. It can be used as the differential to define der RHAM cohomology on a manifold. The KTH der RHAM cohomology is the vector space of closed K forms modulo the exact K forms, as noted in the previous section. The Poincaré lemma states that these vector spaces are trivial for a contractible region, for k greater than zero. For smooth manifolds, integration of forms gives a natural homomorphism from the RHAM cohomology to the singular cohomology over R. The theorem of der RHAM shows that this map is actually an isomorphism, a far-reaching generalization of the Poincaré lemma. As suggested by the generalized Stokes theorem, the exterior derivative is the dual of the boundary map on singular simplices. Naturality The exterior derivative is natural in the technical sense. If f mn is a smooth map and omega k is the contravariant smooth functor that assigns to each manifold the space of k forms on the manifold, then the following diagram commutes so d equals f d omega, where f denotes the pullback of f. This follows from that f omega, by definition, is omega, f being the push forward of f. Thus d is a natural transformation from omega k to omega k plus 1. Exterior derivative in vector calculus. Most vector calculus operators are special cases of, or have close relationships to, the notion of exterior differentiation. Gradient a smooth function f. RNR is a zero form. The exterior derivative of this zero form is the one form that is, the form df acts on any vector field v by outputting, at each point, the scalar product of v with the gradient f of f. The one form df is a section of the cotangent bundle, that gives a local linear approximation to f in the cotangent space at each point. Divergence a vector field V equals on Rn has a corresponding form where denotes the emission of that element. The integral of omega V over a hypersurface is the flux of V over that hypersurface. The exterior derivative of this form is the n-form curl a vector field V on Rn also has a corresponding one form, locally. A to V is the dot products with V. The integral of A to V along a path is the work done against minus V along that path. When n equals 3, in three-dimensional space, the exterior derivative of the one form A to V is the two form invariant formulations of grad, curl, div, and Laplacian on any Riemannian manifold. The standard vector calculus operators can be written in coordinate free notation as follows. Where is the Hodge star operator and another musical isomorphisms? 